So we're here in Northland and uh, here we're here in the Cody Forest. And one amazing thing about the Cody tree is its root system. So the Cody tree has a deep tap root and it only goes down five meters. And you imagine one of the biggest trees in the country, five meters isn't that much of a root to hold it in the ground. The other roots from the Cody tree go out twice the size, uh, twice the length of its, um, of its branches. So, so they are a lattice work of nutrients gathering um, roots. And at the end of those, there's also these peg roots that stick into the ground and their job is to hold the tree in the ground from a large distance. But even that isn't enough and a strong wind to keep the Cody tree in the ground. What the Cody tree also needs is the weight of the soil on top of that root system. And even that's not enough. It needs the weight of all the other trees around it. So it needs the whole ecosystem to keep the one tree, the one Cody tree in the ground. The unique thing about that though, is that the Cody will, is a big, strong, wide tree, but he'll never outgrow the canopy. He'll never outshade the other trees around him because he knows that if he, for, in order for him to survive, he needs those other trees to get enough sunlight for them to survive also. Um, he needs every every other species in this ecosystem. And so that is a really cool analogy for society, I reckon. Our leaders can't outgrow our people. And for, in order for us as individuals to grow uh, and to prosper, we need all of those around us. So the Cody Forest is a unique ecosystem in that way. Just thought I'd share a call for Cardinal about Cody and their reliance on the rest of the ecosystem.